Well, we can't be everywhere at once, and during storms like this, you give us valuable information from your own neighborhood. We want to thank you for the pictures, tips, and reported emails that you've sent to us. Thanks that we've experienced an action-packed day with many of you in Central Texas. Texans Alyssa Gord shows us. This is the scene many woke up to find. In Austin near Stastny and I-35, it took a lot of work to get on the road. Even if you could get your windows down, the ice would stick around, as these folks found out in South Austin. The frigid conditions could be dangerous, too, like this 18-wheeler that jackknifed at SH-130 southbound at US-290. But many out of harm's way found all the ice peaceful. Here's some falling in Bastrop. In Wimberley, fountains iced over. In Circle C, sleet piled up on porches. And the pets, well, they were clearly entertained. For some, this meant time to play. And for others, it meant time to sit in wonder. The owners of this pony and couple of goats in Driftwood say they're all staying warm with bottomless heapings of hay. And give them points You're for okay. trying. This family in Dripping Ready? Springs yeah. attempted to make the most of the weather by sliding down a hill in a Rubbermaid tub lid. Who says Texans can't handle the cold? Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. It has been fun to, to see how everyone is making the most of this day. I predicted there would be very few snowmen built today. <laughs> Fair enough. I think I was right about that. Just a little glaze of ice, but that's all it takes. Uh,